Noel and Dickheads. In the past, I've criticised groups like Antifa, Stand Up to Racism, and this one isn't much different. Like Antifa, they use intimidation, manipulation, and violence under the guise of fighting Nazis. We have the truth, and we will tear their walls down. This is hope, not hate. If you look on their website, straight away, you are told that they are fighting Nazis. You were even told to sign up your email to fight Nazis. But for anybody who isn't thick as pig shit, you would know that's not true. The sheer amount of undeserved deplatformance and people put out of jobs because of this organisation is pretty fucking disgusting. Let's be honest here, the censoring people due to a difference in opinion. And that's a big fucking no-no on this channel. Mm -mm, no, no, no! So before we get into anything, I'm just going to go down a list of um, fucked up things that this organisation has done. And I'm going to give some background so you know exactly what they are. So around 2004, from a magazine called Searchlight, uh, it was formed by a guy called Nick Lowles. Anybody who's even slightly right-wing, uh, or against open borders or Islam, they will slander, they will attack, they'll find out where you work, who you are, they'll try and get you fired, they'll try and fuck your life up. And what's worse is that the mainstream media like The Guardian, CNN, BBC, The Independent, Sky News all see them as a credible source. Even though all these news outlets would claim that they are unbiased, but how can you be unbiased when you're working with an extremely left organisation that's politically driven in everything it does? Even going on to advise the UN on counter-terrorism. It's also been proven many times that they exaggerate facts and data, all to further their political narrative. Because when you have no concrete argument against your opponent, what's easier to do than just call them a Nazi? Just label them as alt-right and the media will come flocking and frothing at the mouth. Now I think it's time to get into what inspired me to make this video. I think it's about time I mention that documentary. If you're not from the UK or you've been living under a rock, Tommy Robinson released one of the best exposés in the BBC that the world has ever seen, and some of the best investigative journalism I've seen in a long time. Forget what you think about Tommy, you don't need to agree with him 100% and neither do I honestly. This is bigger than me, you and Tommy, but what he's exposed here should be seen by as many people as possible. Especially if you're in the UK because you're basically made to pay the BBC so that they can lie to you. And many times of hope not hate, bragged about working with producers from the BBC, their relationship works hand in hand. Because I'm pretty sure that the BBC is aware that they're dying. So as the saying goes, any press is good press, they'll do anything to get clicks, they'll do anything to get viewers, they'll lie on you scandals of sexual assault to gain an upper hand and at this point I don't think they care whether they're telling the truth or not. Because there's only one thing that they care about, their ratings. And recently the ratings are dropping, so they're desperate because new media is here and it's here to stay. Independent creators on the internet can do it way better than a corporation with massive production values and hundreds of employees. Meanwhile people on YouTube are doing it with little to no budget at all and people actually want to listen to it because they have no agenda. They're not trying to stand on a higher moral ground or trying to cram politics down your throat. But I'm getting sidetracked, so let's get back to the topic at hand. I want to talk a little bit about Panadrama. So, I've been contacted by Lucy Brown, who's an ex-employee. The last time we spoke to each other, we were screaming obscenities at each other. Now, she's been contacted by Hope Not Hate and by Panorama, who are working together on a project against me. Working title, Tommy Takedown. So, I'm on the way to see Lucy. I'm actually really concerned and worried about what it is they're up to because I know everything they've tried to do to take me down hasn't worked, so let's see what's next. How have we ended up sitting here <laughs> and what are we talking about? Well, I received a very interesting email from one John Sweeney a couple of days ago, who is a big, was it BBC, BBC presenter for Panorama. Panorama? Yes, apparently he's quite well known. And he's asking if I want to go for a, first it was a cup of tea, but then it was a pint. Um, and he'll come all the way to Cambridge to see me and I think he wants some dirt on you. It just goes to show how scummy these people really are to go after somebody who's clearly vulnerable at the time, clearly pissed off at the time and straight away they smell an opportunity to get dirt on somebody that if they don't expose him, he will expose them. Only this time, Tommy beat them to the punch and this documentary really does pack a punch. At the time of recording, it currently has 1.3 million views, only uploaded about a week ago. So you approached by Hope and Hate? told you, I've seen what they've told you. Yep. 
I told you that there's a take Tommy down. There's a Tommy takedown. Tommy takedown. Yes, and they've been taken on as sort of advisors to the BBC to help them with interviews and to get information about you. How easy would it have been for you to... They offered me five grand Nothing for wrong. a front page story about you being a twat. I want to show if what Lucy could have done. Well, none of it would be factual, but what Lucy could have done. Now bear in mind, I, I, I might not have been here. You could have just done this, yeah? Fake text messages, falsify sender numbers of text. So if you wanted to, my phone will be here. Let's change the number there. Dog. If you have anything to do with panic, yeah, panic dog. I will fucking bury you, comma. Bury you, you, you bitch. bitch. And the point is, that they're actively searching with a far left organisation. They're actively working with my ex-employees to bring me down. I, what I want to prove here is how easy it is and how many other things in this documentary have been faked on me. If you had anything to do with this panorama doc, I will fucking bury you, you bitch. Can you focus on that? So I didn't send that. That's sent from my computer. My phone has not sent you a single message. It really makes you think just how much are they lying about? Because at this point, you really don't know, which is partly the reason why you need to be so vigilant about these things. You can never really take anything at face value anymore, especially in the age of fake news. I mean, these tools have existed for, for a while now with Photoshop and things like that, but these tools are becoming even more accessible to the point where you don't need any skills to be able to doctor images. Success. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Lots of alcohol was consumed tonight. I did what I had to do. Right. Let's... Let's get these files sorted. We've got lots of footage to go through it, but straight off the crazy thing for me is... You're steaming. Which is the champagne and the uh, double gin. Thank you. And then we're going to have some red wine, but we so panic about that for the appropriate amount. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I think we should have one more bottle of beer. Fuck it. No expense spared. Two brandy soup lemon chalos. Um, this is from the Cassis, uh, uh, um, or the Kiel Royale, but uh, even better is another version which is um, with um, uh, blackberry, with, um, black currant, the cure, and champagne. Have you got any flaming sambuca? <laughs> and then two Kiel Royales, and then the bill. Lovely, thank you. Good. Um, <laughs> no expense spared. Well, if that's not incriminating, I don't know what is. And can we just take a minute to appreciate the absolute joy on Tommy's face? He's a happy boy. Was this on BBC Expenses? How much alcohol has been consumed? I've heard him mention three bottles of wine, champagne, flaming Zambuca, all in five minutes. And, you're, and you can hardly sit up. Me getting drunk is me being more lucid and then I'll tell him stuff. That no, so he's wanting to get you drunk. He's using the expense money to get you drunk in order to get information. Get me drunk, be nice to me, be my friend, and then I'll lose enough and be like, oh, I've got this recording or, you know, I'll tell, oh, you I can tell you this or whatever. This is all well and good. This is juicy shit. But let's get to the part where John Sweeney actually tries to defend himself. Hi, right, fine. How are you doing? Thanks very much for doing this, thank you. My view about that is that, um, um, it I think doing a kind of a, a kind of gender, a, a kind of sexual thing against <laughs> Tommy Robinson. The person I was talking to there was worried about whether she would be identified. Now clearly that tape is now in your hands, so we can see that she's working. So you said she was clear footage. We can clip that bit. We can clip that bit. Oh, well, yeah, you you misunderstand me. Oh, so what I was trying to do was to say to that source that if necessary we would change her gender to turn her, for example, into a man. I've done it on regular occasions where I have covered difficult So you don't realise I've got all of this text. How is this prick going to refute video evidence? It's one thing to lie, but to blatantly do it in front of another man's face while well, you've just seen the evidence. And you could say, oh, well, he was doing it to hide the identity of the person, Lucy Brown, which was a nice try, John, but I'm sorry, the video's there. I really wouldn't put it past the BBC and hope not hate 
to me to somebody falsely. It doesn't really seem out of the realm of possibility because it's happened before, and they know full well that a rape accusation can fuck a man's life. It's happened before, and it's gonna happen again. We should not present invented material as facts or knowingly do anything to mislead our audiences. It's only exposing you. Most 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 and, 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 and right now, John, okay. because, because right now, right now because so this text was sent to us, yes. and this is a text from a source who's on that video. Okay. And the text is from you. If you had anything to do with this panorama, Doc, I will fucking bury you, you bitch. Did you send that text? Point proven. <laughs> Get fucked, Sweeney. I have video evidence that that did not come from my phone, and here you are about to betray it to an entire nation. John. Watch it, watch the backpedaling. I'm barely scratching the surface with this documentary, so do yourself a favour, go give it a watch. I know it might seem a bit weird of a channel my size to shout out uh, somebody this big and on a video with this many views, but I think this needs to be seen, and people can make their own mind up about it. This is just my opinion, uh, so what do you think? I'm always interested to see what other people think about things like this. And also it references the video better, so more people can see it, more people can find my channel. So now for the obligatory YouTuber sign out, like the video if you liked it, ring the bell, subscribe if you enjoyed. I'm trying to reach 400 subs by the end of the year, so cheers. Take it easy.